Sagittarius Capricorn to your beginning of the month reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Hope that Mercury retrograde treated you well. Um, what a great month we had last month. The ups, the downs, the weird energy. Um, this month will be a little slower. Um, if you want to check that out, you can go ahead and check out that Astro Dice if you haven't already done so. It's talking about the new portals and new things that are coming, um, the new energies that are coming in for this month. So let's get started and see what's going on with you. Best messages coming out for the beautiful September. Okay. We already have the Queen of Keys and the journey out, as you can see, um, already pulling those energies. The Queen of Keys over here is talking about you stepping into this power, this confidence, being the authority, happy to celebrate the success with others, you know, getting a very uh, financially mindset right now, right now just really wanting to kind of uh, maybe bring together everything that's been going on throughout this year and really start pulling everything together for the end of the year. This is usually the time of the year when everybody's like, okay, so I have this agenda, I have this uh, protocol or I need this or that because this is where I want my end of the year to really, you know, start adding up to something, trying to really bring everything together. So knowing that, you know, the end of the year is right around the corner, right? So if you had any New Year's resolutions, maybe you started looking at them, you know, again, right? And really wanting to pull everything together uh, for your uh, ladder of success, right? And for, you know, you might even be running into this woman or man um, who actually can be a positive, um, I don't know, I'm going to say kind of a positive asset for you um, to get to that protocol, to help you become successful within your business or whatever it is you're looking for, right? Okay. And then we have the journey over here. It's kind of like the journey begins. I'm kind of stepping outside of this and I'm allowing this new journey to begin time to maybe for some of you relocating maybe you are relocating job um, maybe relocating your house putting yourself into a new direction um, making like I said maybe you're just making new plans to make that you know um, success more likely right giving yourself a new uh, kind of a new direction uh, for greater opportunities so you may be leaving something behind that maybe you thought was safe or maybe you're leaving a comfort zone um saying this is too comfortable i can't be you know i can't stay here because it's not doing anything so kind of reworking things um or you could literally be moving right packing up moving job house you know location even maybe moving away from someone right okay so let's go ahead and get some of these oracle cards out see what's going on with you Clarify on this journey and this Queen of Keys. Now, the Queen of Keys also could be a love interest, a person who owns their own business, a person who's very independent, um, has strong boundaries, very clear minded, very perceptive. Okay, it could be an air sign. Uh, seek the truth within the situation. Seven of Cups. Opening up that veil, knocking on that door, seeking what's behind the situation, really looking at what's coming towards you um, with the release, the 13th, having a death card over here saying this is the time to let this go, let it flow, really releasing this to, you know, whatever is going on so that you can get on this new journey and saying, you know, whatever you had before, you don't need that anymore. Okay. If you want to start dating someone new and you know you have this beautiful queen of keys over here. Okay, then this could be finding the right one, going out to some kind of social event with the journey over here, getting to know one another. You can also present your strengths during this time, you know, really, you know, getting to whatever area it is that you're really looking for. Everybody's story is going to be a little bit different. Um, you could even be submitting work applications and really, you know, going out there looking for what it is you truly need in your life, focusing on uh Focusing on changing the focus from where it was. So it feels like there's something that's been going on, whether it was, you know, last month during, you know, all those portals and lion's gates and all of those. Maybe they gave you a deeper perspective. Maybe you've done a lot of meditation work or just had this kind of awakening feeling to where it's like, you know what, I think, you know, I have this goal at the end of the year, but maybe I need something to push that to that goal. 
Or maybe you're just more inclined to just, you know, simply explore your potentials in the love situations because that one's burned out. Or I just want love. Maybe there's no burning out. Maybe there was nobody there. Maybe it's just time to redate again. A success and growth. So it is saying you have the eight of wands over here that there will be success and growth within the situation. Okay. It says your third eye is open and that you are ready to rock and roll. You are definitely in the area of using your intuition in clear seeing. So with the change of focus and the seeking the truth, I love the clear seeing because it's saying I am able to see the truth. I am able to see what it is I really need to do. So you don't have to shy away when it comes to presenting yourself towards any kind of communication right now. If anything, it's going to be because you're so like it's I'm ready to rock and roll um, area, right? For a lot of you, this is a, a love situation where you are definitely running into this person. Maybe you're on a trip. Maybe you are journeying. Um, okay. But it is come the coming together of the two of cups. So no matter what, it does feel like the, the queen of keys may be a person, right? That's also coming into your life over here where your dreams are coming true, whether they're helping you in a business endeavor or in adventure, right? or giving you that new job or or a new love. Uh, the coming together card is just saying that we are connected, right? We connect very well together, whether it's in love or just the way we communicate. It's someone that I can bond with. It's someone that I can actually have this beautiful communication with, someone who can actually help me, who thinks like I do, who actually has a heart enough to want to, you know, um, communicate with me. So there's this definitely this big helping hand and this bond going on. And it doesn't have to be love, right? You might run into a boss or, you know, or somebody who gives you a job. You just feel like you're very connected to, right? You guys really get along very, very well. Okay. Okay. So let's get some tarot cards now. I'm definitely feeling like you are going to run into this person, whether it's platonic or it's it's love. It is definitely going to catch your attention and put you into a new direction. That's what's so cool. Okay, so you have the judgment and you have the imprints. Wow. Now, the inference is in reverse because it says that you had lack of, fo of focus at a time. And this is just pretty much just um, kind of a reassurance to let us know that, um, and kind of a clarifier that's saying you have changed your focus. There could have been a time where you had this kind of lack of focus on what it is I truly want or which way I am, you know, kind of driving my buggy over here, right? I don't know which way to turn. Um, but now it's saying you actually have the awakening and the understanding um, in which direction you now want to go. Okay, so you've changed your uh, focus. You may have even felt like there was some kind of blockage going on in which you have released with the imprint sitting on top of the death card saying there is this beautiful transformation, right? And you might even be leaving a comfort zone. Um, you know, maybe you were just too comfortable and you weren't noticing how comfortable you were, but you know you were very overwhelmed and had a lot of anxiety. And it could just be the job that you're at, the person you're with, people around you. So it does feel like with this journey, you are shifting things around, um, taking a new perspective of things. Okay. So you're definitely turning over a new leaf when it comes to the release. That's a card of turning over the, the leaf. This is saying this is a turning point. Um, this is having the revelation that, you know, I do need to let these go and you're kind of having maybe a confession within yourself. Um, you know what? Shit ain't going right. This isn't good, you know, and it's kind of like rethinking the approach as well um, of what's going on around you. Um, feeling like you could have been in a challenge mode there for a while and having too much, uh, maybe you had to protect yourself too much or too much competition between you and someone else, but you're, you know, standing up for yourself right now, saying, I'm getting on this journey. I'm going to do this for myself, right? Sometimes we even hold on to people that, you know, uh, maybe we've been with them a long time and you know, it's, you know, it's not, it's not working. We keep trying to make it work. Maybe I'm holding on for them um, more than myself because I don't want to hurt their feelings or I know how they are. Um, but now I got to do it for myself, right? Uh, 
Um, so sometimes we do do that. Uh, we do have the four of wands with the success and growth, you know, saying that this is the happiness and joy that you were going to look for or the freedom to do what it is you need to do. Um, so definitely feeling like out of the confusion, <laughs> out of the, it's like out of the confusion comes the third eye, comes the clarity. So where there was a lot of confusion and I'm not sure which way I'm going, I'm not sure, you know, this and that. Now everything's cut and clean. Um, so you don't have any clouded judgment anymore. Everything's very clear. Um, and the more that you clear away the clouds and the, and the, and the, uh, and rethinking the, the situation, you're entering that inner clarity and really pulling back the truth over here of what's really going on. And that's how you really change your focus over here in the beginning of the month, because everything's going to be, you know, it's just like the, the truth is there. Everything's cleared away. It's like you're looking at, you know, a field that no longer has fog. And now you can see for miles on end um, where everything was just very mushy, um, very hazy, right? Um, so it says that, you know, with patience comes balance and finding the meaning and the purpose in, within the situation of where you're going. Knowing that, you know, I have personal goals that I would like to attend to, um, but it feels like you were playing it safe for a while. Um, maybe fear of change, fear of letting go of something, um, and now you're saying no, or lack of planning, right? Because I couldn't really see. Um, but now it's more like you're attracting the tension uh, that you actually need this month, right? Because you've changed your mindset. And so it's changing everything around. And you are definitely limelighting now. You have the courage and the, the confidence in a different kind of, of way that you did before. And this is because of the new, the new focus. Um, so you are definitely... So a lot of people might even think you're a little mysterious. Well, what's, what are you thinking about? What's up your sleeve type of scenario? How come you're acting that way? Uh, we do see the cat here. So there is kind of you kind of um, changing the scenario around, <laughs> right? You changing the scenario around where you might be catching people off guard. Uh, we see that too with the queen sitting next to the seven of wands, which is saying I'm definitely catching you off guard. Um, and this could be because of the behavior that you're, you're doing something so quick. Um, and changing the focus and the perception so fast over here, my friends, that you're definitely going to be making people wonder what's, you know, what kind of magician are you or what are you doing or there's a very mysterious thing. And I think it's because you're not going to really be, there's not enough swords up here to say that I'm really speaking it out. It's more like in a mindset of this is what I'm doing, but I'm not really telling everybody what I'm doing because I already know what I'm doing because they have that. That uh, courage around you, it pretty much says, I don't need to tell you what my plans are. I'm just doing what I'm doing. I'm taking that action. I will speak of it later, you know, when I want to speak of it. And I will speak what I want to speak. And it's kind of that thing because those who are quiet make, you know, quicker moves. Why? Because then you don't, why are you doing that? You don't need to explain yourself. And I think that puts them kind of in a... Um, what are you doing mode? And that's where the mysteriousness comes out. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There it is. You know, if you're resigning from that job to go find another job or you're distancing yourself from certain people, you know, because you've now got the queen of keys. Um, however it is, you are, you are the queen of keys no matter what, because it's just, that's it, you know, but I'm just saying you could have that queen of keys coming in who's like-minded as well. Um, but there is multiple priorities coming in. And there's a lot of time management. You know, you have a lot in your plate right now that you're putting there. You're putting this stuff on a new plate, a beautiful golden plate. This plate is made for yourself. Some people might think that you're being greedy or you're being selfish because you're building something for yourself. Well, what about me? Okay, well, you know, and if you are in a marriage or something of this zone, I will get back to you in a minute. Okay, if you don't have a bad marriage or nothing and you're just kind of putting them off for a second, it's kind of like, just hold on a minute. Right? You know, your wife or husband could be like, they're kind of isolated right now. I don't really know what the hell they're doing. You know? But they're surrounded by paperwork, so... 
right? So they might feel you're a little mysterious. For those who are, you know, it doesn't really matter the scenario. Because no matter what, you're juggling a lot of things to get, you know, to this commitment. This is a new commitment and a higher source for yourself. You're trusting within the universe and you're trusting within this intuition and this, this gut feeling that you have. You're not looking for social appro approval right now. That's why I love that. You know, it's kind of like, but I'm not really looking for the social approval right now. Because if I wanted the social, social approval, I wouldn't leave myself mystery, you know, all mysterious. I'd be opening up, telling you all my stuff. But then if I do that, there could be a lot of disapproval. It's a risk you're going to take for your own happiness. Yeah. You might even be, you know, and you could be collaborating with that queen of keys. Like I said, too, this collabor you know, collaboration within this other person, whether it's a love or however. Because um, there's a lot of teamwork and a lot of learning implications over here and a lot of security. I mean, this is going after, you know, what it is you need for your long-term goals. You know, whether it's a supportive person who's coming in to help you, you know, or it's you just working and doing everything alone. You know, or this new beautiful person coming into your life who could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. However it is, right? You know? I mean, if that's, you know, uh, you know, if it's a new love situation, it's like they're more practical about the situation. You could be keeping it hush-hush. And yeah, you know, if you're getting ready to, you know, exit the relationship, you know, and kind of ghosting them for a second, you know, before they really know, because you're trying to get to meet this queen of keys or this queen of pentacles, okay? Or maybe you're meeting a queen of wands, well, whoever it is, right? It's like, I gotta get to know them from a different level, you know, as you're kind of ghosting them over there, however it is. Take it how it resonates, it's all a little different. However, but it doesn't matter. It just feels like, you know, you're working your ass off over here. You know, and I'm going to say right now, it's a lot of you, it's either career for the long term run or it's love or it's both, you know, in seriousness, because I got a lot of money, a lot of career and a lot of love as well. So take that out resonates with you. Okay, so no matter what it is, it's almost like you're getting this special attention and you're putting yourself out there at this time. Um, just from kind of the sidelines, though, it's really kind of cool, though, because you're allowing yourself to go after the gold, go after what it is you truly want, your, your dreams, but you're doing it from the silent zone. Because, you know, and it's actually kind of good, though, when you're manifesting, you know, you guys know as well as I do, as soon as you start telling a bunch of people or, you know, what your dreams oh man and then they start dogging on what your dreams are oh you can't do that or you can't have that you know and it's just like Shh, we'll fight we'll figure that out on my own whether or not i can have that or not thank you very much but that doesn't mean that even if i you know it's a 50 50 chance you know that's a 50 50 chance i mean that's why we have the 50 50 chance you know and it's like you know but to just knock on it and say oh well, that's not gonna happen you know, that's, that's negative, right? So keeping yourself kind of hidden in the shadows over here, I guess you could say, uh, giving yourself a little ghosting time um, from others to even know uh, really what's going on, you know, around you, you know, so you're a little mysterious, whatever, right? You can, you, you will survive until I get through this, you know, of what I'm doing, right? So... You'll know what I'm doing once I'm done, right? I mean, all inventors stay really quiet, right? Until the time is out. You know, when we're running around telling everybody your invention, they'll either steal it from you or tell you you're netzo. Great. That's like, those what you got for me? <laughs> those are two really horrible things, right? Karmic relationships. <sighs> 
Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. What did I say about that? You know, I said it could be relationship-wise. Getting out of a karmic relationship. Someone that holds you down. I think I did say something earlier about codependency, which therefore becomes smothering. A whale and orca elder, share your song, frequency of sound, and diving deep. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I do like that. I told you I'm going to read that one for you guys. That's, that's like big. So we're going to change these around. Whale and orca. Whale and orca. Well, see into you very into your very being, and in an instant you're changed forever. They see beyond the physical, the woundings, the identity, the personality, the story. They see right into your soul. If you pull this card, you're being called to surrender to your deepest truth and share it with. Oh my gosh, that's crazy! Your deepest truth and share it with potency. I would say, you know, you're sharing it with your bestie. You know, you know there's probably one person that really knows what's going on and everybody else is in wonderment. To bow to who you truly are. To stretch your heart wide enough to hold it all. To leave your fears, doubts, and baggage at the door. To question any part of you that doesn't feel good enough. Huh? The death card. The whale and orca elders want you to give others the privilege of seeing who you truly are. And for you to see the same in other beings, to drop your hangups and personality flaws and get busy revealing a unique note your soul came here to sing. Along, allow, excuse me, the song that echoes in the four chambers of your heart to emanate in all four directions. Peel back the layers of suffering and pain and reveal to others your soul's true song and endeavor to see the soul of all those you meet. The Starseed Soul Inquiry is how are you being called to share your soul's unique song? Wow. It says you're on a journey. It says you are answering the soul call. <clears throat> we know that because here's the higher calling. So I'd have to say, my friends, that this right here just summed up pretty much the whole reading and, you know, Not as many details as what we gave, but I mean, it really does have a summing up, right? You just put in the missing, you know, whether it's love, whether it's career, wherever you are being called, that's really what this is about, going after what it is you truly desire. Wow. Okay, guys. Beautiful reading. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.